Hi, I'm Brian Jackson, editor at itbusiness.ca. Hey, Brian, I'm Jeff Jedris, assistant editor at CDN. Look, Jeff, Steve Ballmer was a great CEO for Microsoft. He led the company in a new direction towards mobile devices, and he created new successful business divisions for Microsoft. First of all, Brian, it's rude to point. And second, Steve Ballmer has been coasting through his tenure as CEO on the coattails of a real innovator, Mr. Bill Gates. If you call coasting driving up company revenue to $70 million from its once paltry $25 million under Bill Gates, then sure, let's face it, as the chief sales officer of Microsoft, he's really taken the company to new levels. I think I have about $900 million worth of Surface RT tablets sitting in a warehouse unsold that would, that would disagree with you. Windows 8 has, has been a flop. That's why they bring out Windows 8.1 to do all the things that they took out of uh, Windows 8 from Windows 7 that has, 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 has customers rebelling. The Windows Phone is uh, ju just, past, just barely past BlackBerry and OS Share, which is frankly not saying much. Uh, we, Microsoft is being surpassed by much more more dynamic competitors like like Google, like Amazon. Microsoft is a fate of giant trying to hold on, and Steve Ballmer held on too long. Microsoft is facing a more competitive industry than the day when Bill Gates was CEO. Look, they're staying on top when it comes to operating system share, and they're taking Windows 8 in a direction that will put it off of PCs onto tablets, and now they're getting onto smartphones with Windows Phone 8, increasing their market share in that area. Come on, there's going to be some f challenges in the first iteration of this, but the important thing is that they're getting the company ready for the future, Jeff. They're, they're maintaining their OS share, sure, as long as you include the desktop and the laptop, which, according to many analysts, the PC is dying. If you put aside the PC, look at OS share in terms of... Uh, of, uh, of, of tablets and, uh, and phones, Microsoft is a small player under facing serious challenges. Whatever, you can argue numbers all day. The fact is, Steve Bulver knew how to electrify a room when he got in there. He was known for his temper, and people at Microsoft feared him, and that really drove their company to, uh, to new levels. They wanted to really get organized when Steve Ballmer was in the room, and when he took the stage for keynotes, everybody paid attention. Well, anyone can shout, Brian, but shouting doesn't mean leadership, and neither does throwing chairs at people. Rather than having a leader that shouts at people to lead, I would rather have someone with a strategic direction and who is, uh, is able to respond much more quickly to shifting, much shift, shifting market dynamics. Steve Ballmer does, does deserve credit for being one of the few people that has stayed with a company from that early seed stage to now one of the largest companies in the world, but the writing's been on the wall for some time that he is not the right person to bring Microsoft to where it has to go in the future, and so this change is long overdue. Microsoft will just be lucky if they get anyone that's half as good as Steve Ballmer for its next CEO. I think uh, well, they'll be lucky if they have someone who does a, a little less shouting and a little more leading. All right, I'm going back to work. I got to check my Outlook inbox. And where people will be telling you how wrong you are. <laughs>